Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So today we are going to say something uh, about the Azure side of the site core. So right now uh, we have four different kind of platform on which you can uh, you can install the site core or you can host the site core. So one is the on-premises. On-premises means your company or your client already has some Windows server and they want to uh, they want to make it as a server here. They want to make it, they want to host your website for website on their premises. So in that case, uh, everything you need to take care. I mean, accountability, maintenance, uh, the overall responsibility is off uh, at our end or from the client end. So networking, storage, server, virtualization, OS, middleware, runtime, data, application, everything we need to take care in on-premises environment. Then we have the infrastructure as a service. So here uh, you can go to the Azure or AWS or Google Cloud or maybe to go to the Rackspace and ask them that, hey, we need some VMs. So you are going to provide them the configurations and then depend on that configuration. Now something you have to install. So you have to install operating system. You have to install prerequisite software, .NET framework runtime, uh, your contained item. So site core. So these things you have to take care. This this one in infrastructure as a service. Then we have the platform as a service. So in platform as a service, everything will be provided by the cloud uh, provider. Let's suppose Azure in our case or AWS. They will provide this till runtime. Only within that, what exactly we need. So we are going to install site core, and within the site core, what exactly the data we need. That's something you have to specify here. So only two things we need to take care. Rest everything will be take care by the uh, our cloud provider. In in our case, it will be Azure. Then we have the software as a service. Here everything will be uh, uh, provided by the uh, vendor itself. Let's suppose Site Core. So everything will be provided by the Site Core. We just need to log in there and we just need to check or we just need to operate it. Okay, so for example, our Office 365, uh, maybe our Gmail, uh, all these are the part of the software as a service. So everything is available at their end. You don't need to install anything. You don't need to upgrade. You don't need to take care of its security maintenance. Everything will be taken care by the uh, pro, uh, service provider. We just need to log in and we just need to uh, do our day-to-day -day operation. That's what at our end, rest everything will be managed by the uh, managed by the vendor itself. So right now, uh, on premises, yeah, we know that the way you are installing laptop uh, site core on your machine, it's on premises. Infrastructure as a service, where you are uh, where you are purchasing some VM. Platform as a service, yeah, we, we are going to see that. Software as a service, site core is not uh, reached to this point till now. They are trying to move their entire product line on this software as a service. That's why they have purchased lots of um, lots of uh, other companies which are running on the software as a service like Mosin, uh, their discovery or uh, the search functionality that they have implemented, uh, they, the way order cloud is working, uh, the CDP uh, is working. So all these are part of their software as a service. But till now they have not reached uh, as a site core as a product like site core XP, that is not available here on the software as a service, but yeah, on the platform as a service, yeah, it's available. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.